as a landlord and investor, there are some jobs that are worth knowing how to do. Relying on handymen to fix every small problem can get expensive and time consuming. Sure, we didn't get into real estate to fix toilets in the middle of the night, but knowing your way around a toolbox may help you sleep better and save a couple bucks along the way. Rentals to Wealth, and we're going to share with you five skills every landlord should know. So if you're ready to learn, lock it in by hitting that like button and subscribe to this channel so you can see all the videos. Sure, we treat real estate like a business and ideally we'll hire out or outsource most tasks, but sometimes a year to find and knowing how to do some basic home improvement or repair items can really save your butt. Your go-to handyman may not be available or becomes a no-show. Maybe the job is just too small to get anyone to come out, or maybe you're way over budget and need to save on costs. There are so many reasons why simple repairs become not so simple, and that's when it becomes handy to be handy. Starting out as DIY investors, being handy has saved us thousands and turned what could have been huge emergencies into small inconveniences. Don't worry, we know not everyone has swung a hammer before, but that doesn't mean you can't perfect these skills. So. Here are six jobs that are worth knowing how to do. First item on the list, and potentially one of the most hated and despised, especially by me, is painting. <laughs> we know it's boring, but everyone should at least know how to do it. You can get fancy, but really all you need is a paint roller, a paint tray, and a good cut-in brush and some paint. Check out some YouTube videos on how to cut in using a brush instead of taping off the edges and then roll the rest. Once you get the hang of it, painting goes by quickly and gives you time to tune into some of your favorite podcasts. Maybe some from Bigger Pockets. Pro tip, buy quality paint. If you purchase the cheapest paint you could find, you're definitely be doing four or five coats to get good coverage. So what you're thinking is cost savings per can, you're actually losing on having to buy more of it. Number two basic electric. Chances are good that your new house comes complete with ugly light fixtures. Swapping them out isn't a whole lot harder than changing light bulbs, and you certainly don't need a contractor's license to do so. Learn how to make these changes, and rather than hire an expensive electrician, you can do it yourself. While we wouldn't recommend a complete rewire job on your first try, updating lighting or even installing a ceiling fan can be done safely. Again, YouTube is a great place to find a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can watch again and again. Number three on the list, basic plumbing. Plumbing used to be done with old copper pipes, which had to be soldered together, and that's definitely a skill I don't recommend learning on the job. One mistake and the whole house is flooded. Or burned down. But there is a new fun toy in the plumbing world, shark bites. I cannot tell you what sort of engineering magic goes into shark bite fittings, but they have made copper pipe repair super easy and you literally take one of the fittings and slide it onto the pipe. Turn the water back on and no leaks. It's ridiculous how easy it is, but I will say this is not ideal for a long-term fix, but it'll definitely save you in a pinch. Twice now we've had water leaks in our rental properties and we were able to get there quicker than our plumber. Being able to address the issue, at least for the time being, prevented further damage and saved us money on an emergency call. Besides fire, water is the next worst thing for a house, so knowing how to at least handle a leak or issue is super helpful. Number four, drywall repair. Well, hanging drywall from scratch can definitely be an advanced level DIY skill and definitely something we hire out. Every real estate investor should know how to at least do basic drywall repair. Did we say that? <laughs> drywall. <laughs> repair. <laughs> Every real estate investor should at least know basic drywall repair. And if you have to repair a hole in a drywall left by an angry tenant or a rambunctious kid or a failed attempt at hanging a TV, all things we see all the time, that job may be just too small to get someone to come out. Patching drywall is very simple and as always, YouTube is there to help and guide you in the right direction. Keep spackle stocks for the small repairs and once you know how to quickly patch a nail hole, there is no need to panic about tenants hanging artwork against your wishes. Bigger holes take a bit more effort, but it's nothing a handy DIYer can't manage. A saw, some drywall tape, and that ever so helpful spackle, and you're in business. Now to our last on the list, simple carpentry. No one's expecting you to create custom built shelving, but understanding the basics of woodworking will go a long way when you want to repair or update molding, attempt to lay LVP, install a door, or patch rotten boards in your property's patios. 
Consider picking up a few basic tools like a miter saw and drill. Plus, there's a bonus to perfecting basic carpentry. If you're anything like me, I find woodworking to be an absolutely enjoyable hobby with endless uses. If you can find simple repairs enjoyable, keep practicing. Because soon enough, the built-in shoveling might not be a problem at all. And you might even enjoy trim work or building full decks. Think about how much labor savings that is. Starting career as a real estate investor certainly does not require handyman training. But if you perfect these five easy trade skills, you'll be able to save significant money on one-time contractor fees and take a little bit of the stress away. Being this hands-on might not be for everybody. It definitely depends on your goals and how you choose to run your business. But for us, it's been super helpful to have these skills. So what do you guys think? What skill do you think is most valuable to have as a landlord when it comes to renovations and repairs? If you're enjoying these landlord tips, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And if you want to follow along with us on our investing journey, head on over to our channel, Renzel's to Wealth. We'd love to have you along with us. We'll see you guys next time.